Check it out. New verse old. It is looking good with all these new parts. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. This vlog is going to be over the course of a couple of days because I am going to finally remove and send out my rack and pinion. If you guys remember, I have a crack right there. You can see it. And that's the pinion housing. It's cracked. I It's a pain in the ass to take remove once I put the 2J in here. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to see if I'm gonna send it out to Rack Doctor and they're gonna rebuild it. They're gonna hook me up. They're gonna give me a housing. They said they have a bunch of them lying around. So this video is gonna take a couple days. I am gonna show you right now how to remove it. Then I'm gonna send it out. And then I'll continue the vlog once it comes back. So uh, this is gonna start by removing the wheels. That way I can take out the tie rods from the knuckle. And then I'm going to take out the steering right here. Just a little bolt right there. And that should slide right off. And then I have a couple lines I got to take out. There's no pressure in it because, you know, there's no engine. And then finally, I'm going to take off these mounts. All right, wheel is off. Now back here, it's a little dark, but there's my rack. And here's the uh, inner tie rod and the outer tie rods uh yeah i gotta remove that cotter pin right there then remove the castle nut hammer it out and it'll pop right out and then i'm probably gonna get new ones because i don't know when these were last replaced and as easy as that the outer control arm i mean not the outer control arm the outer tie rod is off and this side is totally free and then like i said i'm gonna move in here and i'm gonna take this bolt off to move the steering um column i remove this bottom bolt here Loosen this one up here, and now I can slide it up. And there we go. That's off. That's done. Now all I got left are these two lines, which are very easy to remove. Just spin this one and uh, that one, and then got to remove these bad boys from underneath. And then, uh, yeah, that's easy enough. I'll show you guys once it's off. All right, got all four bolts taken out. So it should be loose. I didn't try it yet. And oh, yeah. Oh, lucky me. I forgot one. Well, gotta take this out and then, you know, it's ready to rock and roll. All right, it's off. Missing there, cause it's over here. There it is. There's the crack on the other side. So what I'm gonna do here, cause this is so freaking long, I can't find a box to fit this in. I'm gonna take the inner tie rods off and all you need for that is an adjustable wrench. You put it right on this part. And, you know, after you take the boot off, uh, right there. And then you spin it off, which I already did this one. And there she goes. That makes her much shorter. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So I can ship this uh, thing out, get her fixed. And maybe I can hop on something else in here. Maybe clean this place up a bit. Look at that. Nice and tiny. Save some money on shipping, you know? But, guys, that is it for today. Um, you know, I will continue this video once I get the rack back from Rack Doctor after I do their rebuild. So, as like I said in the beginning, this video is going to be over the course of maybe two weeks. You know, sending it out, getting it rebuilt, coming back. And I will see you guys in a couple days. What's up? Once again. So it's been uh, maybe around like two weeks, week and a half, yeah, about two weeks since I took off the Rack and Pinion and sent it out to Rack Doctor and they really hooked me up. They, you know, rebore the cylinders, all new gaskets. Remember that cracked housing? Well, they replaced it, they actually donated me another housing. So I definitely recommend if anyone needs a new rack, Rack and Pinion, go to Rack Doctor, uh, rackdoctor.com and uh, they'll really help you out. You can call them. They'll, you know, give you any information that you need and they're a really good price too. So, here we go. I ordered all these new things. So I got new polyurethane bushings. I got new outer tie rods and new ISR Performance inner tie rods, which are a little bit longer 
than the original ones. Let's open up some packages uh, so we can see how everything looks. And I'm really interested in seeing what the new rack looks like. Let's start off with the simplest, easiest thing, the polyurethane bushings. Here we go. Polyurethane. Uh, I think I, I'm only using two of these, but since this is, it's not really universal, but it goes for a bunch of cars. Uh, I think I'm using this one and one of these two. Not sure yet. I got to compare it to what I have, but they're like, they're pretty good quality. I just got them on, on Amazon. They're the cheapest there. Pretty much the same price as the other ones. So got those. Here are my Moog outer tie rods. I want Moog. They're a little, you know, a little bit better quality compared to some other ones. These aren't, they're heavy duty instead of just like economy. They're pretty good. They're already greased up, as you can tell, it's all over my fingers. And here they came with new nuts and a fitting so I can re-grease it in the future. So got that. Same thing, one for each side. Here is my ISR Performance inner tie rods. Let's check out these. Let's see what these look like. Oh man, they really take this guy up. Boom. Here they are. I could already tell they're a little bit thicker. Here is a new nut for adjustment and a new spacer. I don't know where that goes, but I'll figure it out. Definitely thicker. You can see right here it gets really thin. These don't at all. And it, I guess they're a little longer. And now, time for the good part. Let's open this bad boy up, huh? Ah, I think I know what this is. New boots. New boots. Here we go. Oh, look at that. My original. They threw in the original for me. This thing was in pretty bad shape. I don't know how much longer this thing had to go. Yup, they donated this whole thing for to me. So this went boom. Look at that. Again, thanks Ray for, you know, spotting this for me when you came up, came to pick up my trims. Oh yeah, looking clean already. Look at this thing. The rack doctor. Thanks guys, for hooking me up. I am excited. I want to put this thing on. Looks like there's already some fluid in there. That's why they capped it off. So I'm going to keep these caps on until it is time to, ooh, until it is time to throw on my new power steering lines. But now I'm going to install my tie rods, the inner tie rods, the new ISR inner tie rods, inner tie rod, spacer and whatever this little crown thing is there we go so i put on the, the little spacer then i put on this thing and now it gets screwed onto here there it's screwed on all right i'm going to tighten this up with my open end let me throw this on first that goes there and then this slips over right and it goes it's gonna go over everything, all the way back here, and that's it. Put this bad boy on, and there we go. Inner tie rod is done. Outer tie rod, well, nut first. Let's throw the, the nut on here. New inner tie rod. Screw that bad boy in. Don't know, it doesn't go all the way, and that's it. Nut goes up. Boom, then I'll eventually get tightened, but I still have to adjust this so my wheels, both wheels are straight. Well, that's it. That's how you put it in a tie rod. Check it out. New verse old. It is looking good with all these new parts. Don't you love new parts? I love new parts. We are now gonna grab the new rack and 
from you know this side right here i'm gonna stick it through the column of the rack you know the cylindrical part is gonna sit right on here and on here and then these go on top strap it down steering shaft goes right on to my new pinion housing that rack doctor so kindly donated goes on there and then i can finally add new lines i forgot i'm gonna go grab my grease gun and i'm gonna grease because they're polyurethane so i want to grease the inside and out here just a little bit because i don't want them to start squeaking polyurethane is known to squeak and not saying that this will or won't i'm not sure i don't want to take that chance because once i'm driving this thing is not easy to take out with an engine and trans in here. Ta da! We're now back in the wheel well. Here's a new outer tie rod. We're just going to do the opposite of what we did before. We're just going to slide it on. Alright, most manuals, I think, I think the torque spec on this is, is supposed to be 27 foot-pounds. But I've never used a torque wrench on this. I just tighten it down until it kind of feels good. So, there we go. I think that's about right. And we'll just turn this till it lines up with the hole. And put it right in the cotter pin. And then, ah, it hurts with the fingers, but whatever. I'm a man, I can take it. You bend one side, and then you can bend the other side or cut the other side, whatever. But yeah, there we go, this is done. My steering wheel is straight. So I'm gonna try not to move this to turn it. So I can slip this over the gears as straight as possible there we go and then i can slip the set screw right through and just uh tighten it down all right i threw the wheels on really quick just two lugs now you can tell if there's any like offset on them this one looks really straight, and this one over here looks really straight. All right, they both look really, really straight. So for now, this is good because to use a measuring tape method, you need two people. There's no way that like I can hold one end of the measuring tape like right here and then be at the other end measuring it. Right now, I don't have a second person, so I'm gonna have to go get my brother another day to help me measure, but for now, this looks really, really good. I am really happy with this rack and, rack and pinion set. I can't believe it is finally here. The excitement is real. That part is done. Like that was something that really had me concerned because of the price. Rack Doctor, again, really hooked me up. Uh, afterwards, another video I'm going to install. I think this video is long enough. So I'm going to install the Parasitian Reservoir and all the new lines. All right, so make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you click post notifications because I am getting really close to putting this engine in the car. I don't want you guys to watch these kinds of videos and then not watch the end result. It's gonna be bad ass. 700 horsepower, this thing is only 2,500 pounds, so it is gonna be a monster. I am going to destroy it everything i can find well not really but you know I, l let me drink i want to drink all right guys thanks again for watching remember work hard stay humble